American, I've snuck into over 50 of the world's largest events. And last year, I tried to sneak into the Super Bowl, but I didn't get in. That went horribly wrong. This year, that changes. I am getting into the Super Bowl, but it's not going to be easy. A Super Bowl with a supersized security detail on the ground, in the air, and at sea. Thankfully, I do have a plan. Two months before the game, I told my producer Hayden to get me and my friends jobs at the Super Bowl. You pulled off a lot of stuff. This should be easy for you, right? If I can get you a 186-person passenger plane, I can get you into the Super Bowl. Come on, I like the confidence. Then two weeks before the game, I went to the stadium to go scope out potential entry. Points. There's like five fences between me and general admission. This place is a fortress like I've never seen. Two days before the game, I snuck into the pregame Super Bowl convention to get additional intel on event security. I got this undisclosed media credential. And we're gonna see if this works. Bro, this place is crazy. Oh my gosh, that worked. I mean, there is police everywhere. They did not miss a corner of this place. Then the day before the Super Bowl, I reconnected with Hayden to finalize our game plan. Hayden! So for two months now, full time, you've just been emailing people yeah. and doing whatever it takes to find a way into the Super Bowl. Literally everything that you could possibly imagine I have done. There's no way that we're getting in. Dude. Yeah, as you might have guessed, that's really bad because today's the day of the Super Bowl. We're a mile away from SoFi Stadium, the biggest, most expensive, most secure stadium in the world. And you have a way to get to the security and I'm excited to see what it is. The plan. Yeah, the plan. Is... There is no plan. I, uh, I messed up. Sweet Jesus. We're just gonna have to go for it. Now, if you know anything about me, I never try to sneak into anything without a genius plan. But before we talk about that, I thought I'd take the opportunity to embarrass my friends. I filled up the trunk with a bunch of costumes and we're going to try to use them to sneak in. All right, so the first disguise is a plumber. This is not gonna work. <laughs> what am I plumbing? Tom Brady's toilet. You're going in, you're getting in. They cannot stop Tom Brady's personal plumber, bro. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. It's just the line for the, uh, the uh, workers, um, I got a plumb. You know, I'm gonna turn around and walk away. Tyler! Right. I said the wrong word. I said I'm here to do the plumb or something. <laughs> no chance this disguise does not work. This is a dolphin's jersey, Eric. <laughs> Good luck. I'll see you inside. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the one I'm least confident in. All right, here goes nothing. Dude, he's so short. There's no way he's a football player. Hey, boss. I'm one of the players. That's too bad, man. I need to get in there. You play ball. Good luck, man. You don't think I'm one of the players? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I just missed the bus. Okay. You're a good man. <laughs> what happened? I had the wrong jersey on. We told you that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go as an Uber Eats driver. He's walking with confidence. He's walking with confidence. I have a, I have a Uber delivery driver. You can speak to my boss right here. Okay, sounds good. He just keeps walking up the food chain. Miss Boss, how are you? Good. What can I help with? I've got a uh, Uber. Delivery. You gotta be kidding me. I'll bribe you with a meal. Sorry. Okay, so you won't take this as a bribe. I, I can't, I can't. Are you sure? It's a Big Mac meal, untouched. Uh, Worst Uber driver of all time. I tried to use this as a guise to get into the Super Bowl. It didn't work. You want something? <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Everything that we just did was to embarrass you guys. I have an actual plan. What the f, dude? Are you what? kidding me? What? What? You what? Made me going as a plumber. I had to talk to a police officer in a Dan Marino jersey. <laughs> you, you knew this was not going to work. This is just a complete waste of time. It's actually yeah. 3.30 right now, which means the game just started. The Super Bowl! See, the issue with that is we're not in there. <laughs> One more idea. Let's hear it. So Apple made these things called air tags, which are like GPS tracking devices. I have this trick that I use called the air tag trick. I Why did you wait for the plan that actually works <laughs> until the game started? I What's the point? Where you get an air tag into the destination you want to be inside of, name it, for example, Eric's iPhone, and then you tell security that that's your phone and you need to go retrieve it. Okay, so each of us is going to pair one of these to our phones, and then the goal is to stick it into somebody's backpack, pocket, put it in their hair, and they walk the tag in for you. Oh, correct. Yeah. Anything to get the air tag in the game. We're moving to stealth. Stealth mode starting right now. Stealth mode. Three men. Three air tags. One opportunity to get into the Super Bowl. And because the game was already in the second quarter, we had an hour to do so. And just to mention to you guys, because YouTube keeps demonetizing our sneaking videos because they're obviously 100% real, I did buy a legitimate ticket so that we are not technically trespassing, but that ticket is left inside a lock safe at my house just to make sure I don't use it. So me having a legitimate ticket is literally the only way this video doesn't get taken off of YouTube. These boys right here can keep me accountable to not using it. But obviously I don't need the ticket because I have one of these. Sneak right with you. Come on, baby, let's go. This is the legend right here. 
<laughs> got the secret trick up the sleeve. Are you guys going in? We're trying, yeah. It's so hard. We do meet a lot of fans on the outside of exclusive events. We've inspired millions of people to do this. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Speaking of bringing you guys together, I want to throw a giant party at the end of the year where all of us can actually come together. A pizza party where I'm going to make the world's largest pizza and share it with all of you. I even DM'd Pizza Hut and they agreed to help us make this happen if we get 10 million subscribers before the end of the year. Guys, I'm not joking. I'm dead serious about this. So please make sure that you're subscribed and join us at the end of the year for the world's largest pizza party. All right, this is the entrance right here. We gotta find somebody to stick this to. Luckily, there was a man at the entrance with an open bag. The perfect opportunity for my air tag to find its new home. I just got it in. I just put it in the bag. I just put it in the bag. Did you guys see that? That was some James Bond. Did you watch it? I watched you do it. I still barely saw it. <laughs> I finessed it into this tooth bag. Now it's a waiting game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now it's moving, boys. Oh! Wait, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. All right, let me see. Let me see. Look. What happened? It's in. Okay, so my air tag's in. I'm gonna take your air tags with me so that you can do the same thing. Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. If this works, I will beat the army, the navy, the FBI, all for the mafia. Yeah. This is so my ticket is on my phone. It's my friend's phone. My phone is inside with the ticket on. I have my. You need an actual ticket. Okay. If you can have someone in there, it's bring it out. My phone, it's like left in the seat, like in the seat. Any security officer can find, like to get a hold, get the phone. Yeah, don't direct it over there. Let's go this way. Okay. He's in, he's in. That means we're gonna have to go in right after him. Through the first gate, through the first gate. And as you can see by my handy dandy sweat meter, the first level of security wasn't too stressful. So I left my phone in the stadium. I have this. I left, I, this way? You've gotta be shitting me. You have gotta be fing kidding me, dude. They're just sending me back into the stadium right now. This way? Okay, great. Thank you guys. Yep, face is a little bit more wet this time. Those guys can easily take me to jail. Meanwhile, back on the front line, it was time for my friends to follow my lead. Hey, I left my phone inside the stadium. This is the... It's actually working. Max just got through the first level of security. Uh, he hasn't gotten in the game yet though. I'm waiting for him to text me. If he gets all the way in, it's my turn next. I am not in yet. <laughs> Look at what I'm looking at. Oh my gosh. This guy apparently tried to sneak in. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what happens if you try to sneak in. I left my phone inside the stadium. Were you with by yourself? Yes. And just hope that somebody turns it in. To the last phone. My phone is right here. You're not going to get it? Yeah, we're in the stadium. Nice. Okay. Well, that did not work. This is the walk of shame right here. Uh, I have a location kind of on it. This time you can see I'm literally drowning in my own sweat. This is the last security check before the stadium entrance, and if this fails, it was all for nothing. I'm gonna be brutally honest. Hurt, we are failures. We didn't even get close. You didn't even go through the door. Usually when we're in situations like this, we have to fix. Now, this was the only situation where we can't do that. If we do that, we'll go to jail, like a hundred times over. I think there's only one thing left that you and I can do. What's that? It's a failure. And while the boys drank their failures away, I was still fighting for my life. There's an elevator right through these doors right there. Okay, got it. Oh my gosh, bro. They just okay, they just sent me into the elevator. Yeah, go go over there. Uh-huh. One floor? Okay, thank you. Bro. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh my gosh. I've been so scared about this for a year. I've stuck into so many things. This was like the highest achievement of sneaking in. And I just did it, bro. Stafford, going to the end zone, reaching up and making the grab. Sports, sports. Now, obviously, I'd love to keep celebrating with my fellow sports enthusiasts and mafia members, but I was still being monitored by security. I stalled security as long as I could. You're gonna be right here. Okay, understood. Right here? Okay, okay, okay. Let me look. But eventually, I was escorted back out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, sneaking into an event like this is very emotional for me. I have had some of the best memories in my life sneaking into things on this channel. So much of what this channel is built on is sneaking in videos. So I feel like finally what we just did is the pinnacle of the sneak in series. That being said, I have had so much fun with this series that I have done everything that I wanna do. I am officially quitting. I'm, no I'm never sneaking in anything again, ever. <laughs>